Hey guys, in today's video, I wanna to talk to you about how to bring more customers to your business. So ultimately, how are you gonna attract those customers to your business so that you can grow? If you're interested in using systems, automation, and leverage to grow your business, go ahead and click that subscribe button and the little bell beside it so you'll be notified when I post new videos. All right, so do you have a consulting business or a coaching business or just a service business? The reality of it is you need to have a lead generation system. All right, so if I looked at your business today and we took a look at your client roster or the type of clients that you're working with, who are the clients that you're working with today that you enjoy working with and why? And then who are the clients that you're working with today that you don't enjoy working with and why? And really what we wanna figure out is why do you enjoy working with some of your clients and why do you you know, not enjoy working with others? We all know that there are clients who are just a pain in the ass, so to speak. Their energy sucks no matter what you do for them. It's just not the right fit. And on the other end of the spectrum, our ideal clients, there are certain clients who the service we're offering is just perfect for their needs. They're willing to pay a premium because they're getting exactly what they want from us and it's just enjoyable work for us. So we need to take a look at your client roster and just figure out who that is because very often what ends up happening is there's one or two or three ideal clients in the mix and then there's a handful of people who are just sucking your energy. And really until we identify who we're trying to attract and who we're trying to push away from us, you know, you're know, you're left in a situation where you're saying yes to anyone that has a check and is willing to pay you. And that's just not a way to scale up a business and it's certainly not an enjoyable way to run your business. So what problem do you help them solve? So every business is set up this way. Your ideal clients come to you in a state over here, right? This is their current state. They have some kind of pain, some kind of challenge or some kind of you know dissatisfaction with their current state and they're trying to get over here to this future state, right? This is the future aspiration where they're trying to get to. They're trying to resolve some some problem in their life. Maybe they want to lose weight. Maybe, you know, they want to learn yoga. Maybe they want to get more clients. Maybe they, you know, want any number of things, but ultimately they're coming to you to help them solve some problem in their life and get them to, you know, that future nirvana or happy state. So how do you help them achieve that transformation? That's your proprietary process and really understanding that that's what they're paying you for. Moving them from point A to point B, from this point where they're have a challenge to this point in the future where they feel better. You're helping them resolve that challenge. Knowing what that is, is really beneficial. All right, so lead generation is fairly easy once we identify who you want to attract, right? So attracting an ideal client follows the same logic as attracting a mouse, right? So first you wanna figure out who you wanna attract and then you need to figure out what lure you're going to use in order to bring them out. So in the case of a mouse, it's fairly easy. You know you're gonna put some cheese on a mouse trap and that's gonna catch them. So we need to do the same thing in terms of logic for your ideal clients. We need to figure out what lure is going to bring them or attract them to your website. So what can you use as a lure for your ideal clients? Remember, nobody cares about you your services, your business. If you got hit by a bus tomorrow, none of your clients care, right? They care about themselves, they care about their own problems, their own challenges, their own frustrations. They're looking to solutions to that. They don't care about any particular service that you offer unless they understand that it's gonna resolve a pain point in their life. All right, so describe their current situation, right? So that they know that you understand their problem that they're facing in their lives, right? So as soon as they understand that you get their problem and you are able to articulate their pain points at a level that even they can't, and that you have experience resolving this particular you know, problem or challenge, that's gonna give them a lot of confidence. And one of the ways to do this is definitely to share some testimonials from your existing ideal clients and how you help them resolve their challenge or frustration so that they can see that you're perfectly able to guide them from you know point A to point B predictably so that they get the outcome that they're looking for. So let them know what to do next, right? You wanna make it easy for them to see that you have a plan, right? Because people feel a lot more assured if they can see that you have a predictable plan to move them from point A to point B to resolve whatever pain or challenge they're experiencing 
ex, you know, kind of experiencing at that point and how you're going to get them to that future state or that aspirational state. All right. And then, you know, the, the real thing that you want to make sure that you're doing here is that you're converting traffic into leads. Ultimately, if you're going to have a lead generation system set up, you have to be able to convert traffic into leads. And it's amazing how few people are doing this in all kinds of businesses, be it consulting, be it, you know, coaching, be it service businesses. The number one thing that you want to do is understand that your potential client may not be ready to buy now. So you need to have what's called a lead magnet set up. If you're not familiar with the lead magnet, you can check out other videos I've done on this channel. This is not something new, but it is something that is very important to have on your site. This is what allows you to give them some piece of information that's valuable. Could be a PDF, could be a checklist, could be a step-by-step -step guide that's showing them how to take a step in the right direction in terms of moving them from point A to point B, but ultimately is just one step. It's not the whole thing. If you do a good job of pulling this together, they're going to happily give you their contact information in exchange for this ethical bribe or lead magnet. All right. So just to recap, these are the steps to attract more ideal clients to your business. Ultimately, if you want to grow your business, the first step is capturing leads of those ideal clients so that you have the opportunity to put them through your sales system. We'll cover the sales system in future videos in terms of how you automate that process and heat buyers up from, you know, just getting to know you to the point where they know, like, and trust and they're ready to buy. So step number one is identify your ideal client. Step number two is pick your lure, right? This is where you're really articulating the pain points that your ideal client has and your approach to solving it for them. Then you want to create that lead magnet or ethical bribe. You want to put that on your site so that they're going to engage with your site. They're going to move from traffic to a lead by giving you their contact information in exchange for that lead magnet. And that's the capture of the lead. And now what you've done is you're starting to fill your pipeline with ideal clients who you can nurture over time and ultimately convert into paying clients. So hopefully you got something from this video. If you did, definitely hit that thumbs up button for me. If you have any comments or questions, drop them below. I'd love to engage with you here on the channel and I'll see you in some future videos.